I'm a year older since the last time you saw me. Hard to tell, I know. But uh, age is a thing, and it happens. The reason I'm making this video is because I got wonderful birthday presents, many wonderful birthday presents, but uh, I got three specifically from my siblings that touch on some very personal parts of me. Uh, the first one is this shirt, and uh, it's pretty awesome. It says, you have died of dysentery, and it has a wagon from the old, uh, very original Oregon Trail video games. Something I used to play as a child back in the uh, late 90s. That's how old I am, yeah. So my brother sent this to me. He, uh, I appreciate that he understands my sense of humor. It's awesome, thank you, Mark. Um, I got some other gifts uh, from other people that I'll show you at some point in this video, but this next gift is from one of my sisters. I actually haven't opened it yet. It just came today. Uh, today is not my birthday, but hey, you can celebrate all month long if you want to, according to my wife. So this is, I think it's dice, because I like to collect dice. Your feedback help us to improve our quality and services. The following instructions on how to leave seller feedback. So this is obviously a, um, a non-English speaking company that wants you to give them uh, five stars, but this is a really cool cup. Already I can tell it's got some, uh... oh wait, I don't think this is from my sister at all. I think I bought this for myself. Yes, I did. All right, I'll show you a close up here in a second. Okay, so first of all, I bought some wooden dice. Anyways, this was a birthday present I bought myself. It's this cool looking wooden cup. It's on there really nice. Has wooden dice in it. Two, three, four. Not a great roll, but 13. So anyways, that was really fun. I like to collect stuff like this. You can see me in the reflection there. So, but now to the main attraction. And then the other thing, my sister did get this for me, I know that for a fact, is this game. And, um, but I'm gonna bring the camera down here so you can see it up close. It has some, some funny looking stuff on it, so give me one second here. This came in an unmarked uh, Amazon package just to me. Uh, you can tell this is the front, it's got poop the game, poop the game. English, Japanese, there's some toilet paper, this is the back, it says poop, and then lots of things. Some cards make players perform crazy acts. Feels right design. Take turns pooping, but don't clog the toilet. Oh man, this, this looks like it was a Kickstarter of some sort. So anyways, I'm going to take the plastic off here for those of you who've been dying for me to. Ooh, not, not a clean break, but... I might start a second channel where I just open things. It's, it's really satisfying. Trying to bump the camera. Alright. Oh, it doesn't say poop the game. It just says poop with some letters and a... I guess this is a pink pile of poop, so I'm eating some Lucky Charms. Let's see what we have in here. Do you love poop? Pick up more poop. Oh, I have seen this game in stores. If you can see that warning, this package contains poop. I've seen that. Deep Doo Doo Remix. Hmm. Alright, so these all look like cards, so they're not in order. Okay, this and that look like they might be important. <laughs> there's a toilet with an 11 on it. Uh, there's another one that looks like it might be important. Ah, there we go. How to play poop. Alright, so first of all you're going to want to just memorize these real quick. So once you've got that, let me know and we can move on.
Oh yeah, cool. So it's right there that I'm making all of this up. All right. How to play poop. Objective, take turns playing poop cards. First player to run out of cards is the winner. Separate the toilet cards into a separate pile. Five poop cards to each player. Observe the toilet lid near the middle table. Flip the first. Take turns pooping, but don't clog the toilet. Beginning with the player left of the dealer, take turns laying down one card. Skip cards, reverse cards, and wild cards. Do not add to the poop number. If the player can eat down lay on a card to leave the poop total, they must pick up the pile. They flip a new toilet. Clogged. So, hmm. If three of the same color cards are played, then the toilet is flushed. The player that plays a wild card must perform the sound or action described on every subsequent turn. Fart sound. Grunt. Oh, okay. If another player plays the same wild card on a later turn, then that player assumes the card and the previous player no longer needs to make the action. Alright. So, what we have here is uh, reverse ribaisu. Sukipu. Chunba ni natara po chan on wo dasu. Please don't get mad at me for mispronouncing those. Wash hands. Grunt, lean, lean on fart. On turn. Oh, hold nose. My goodness, these people. Alright, so. I'm going to set up a semblance of a hand here. Looks like... Okay, there's a toilet card, there's a toilet card. Toilet cards. These are high, pretty, pretty high numbers for the toilet cards. 8, 9, 10, 11... Oh, that's the English version of that card, okay. these. And shuffle these, I guess. Alright, got all the instructions. Putting them over here. Putting this one over. It's a nine. Box up there. This says Deep Doo Doo Remix for Advanced Poop Players. Flushing can only occur when three cards of the same color also match the toilet. I like this idea where the color of the cards match. Alright, I'm putting this over here, so let's draw. I can't remember what it said now. Five cards. All right, so we're gonna have two players. So, now do we have a draw pile for a reason? If a player cannot, then they must pick up the pile of cards. Oh, okay. Is there at any point do they? All cards are then discarded draws a card and the flusher leads off. Oh, just these cards on the table, okay. So, this person would play maybe a two. And then this person would play four. This looks like a good game to help kids uh, learn their numbers and maybe be potty trained. So there's, we're at eight now out there, see? Four, four, two, eight. So if this person played, so what happens if I play a two? Let's find out. Oh, if you cannot keep the cards, okay, so this, this player two would not have wanted to play that. They would have wanted to play this zero, but you can see they now have to make, they would have had to go when they laid that down. 
And then it'd be up to this person not to clog the toilet, which they could by playing a reverse. Okay, right here. So then this person could make this one, which means they'd have to wash their hands. They have to go And this player would play, and he'd have to hold his nose. You can see he's playing. Hold his nose every time. And then this person would have inevitably clog the toilet and have to pick up all of these cards. And then this person would, I guess we would flip the toilet's number over. This person would play and be out. So just kind of luck of the draw there. But the goal, obviously, don't clog the toilet. Shout out to my siblings who send me awesome things. I really appreciate it. I'll play this game with somebody for real. And I will let you guys know how it comes out. A very special thank you to everyone who made my birthday so wonderful and gave me awesome gifts. And even if you didn't give me anything, you just told me happy birthday. And I really appreciated it. I really did. So, see you later. Uh, go to Amazon.com and after sign in, go to your account in the upper right hand corner. In order section, under more order actions, click leave seller feedback, complete the evaluation form and submit. Wants them to light up all the stars, right honey?